isn't like a small rock. This is a really, really big rock. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Charity. And I'm Ben. And in 2018, we bought our first RV and set off to travel the country full-time with our family. So in today's episode, it's gonna be all about the Pacific Northwest and specifically the Oregon coast. And one thing you're gonna see in this episode is it's just one of those things that can happen with RV life where everything goes wrong. <laughs> yes. So what was one of the first things that went wrong? Yeah, the first thing that went wrong is our Jeep broke down. So our Jeep started leaking coolant severely. Um, we went to go check out the Redwood Forest, which you can see in the last episode, and there was a puddle, a puddle of coolant on the passenger side floor. And then what we found out was after we took it into a shop and thankfully there was a shop in the area that could get us in on short notice is we'd had the heater core replaced in our hometown last fall when they installed that heater core they did not do the repair correctly they did kind of what you would call a chop job and uh, that is why it went out again now thankfully the shop it did that work is taking financial responsibility for their mistake in paying for the ensuing rental car that we have to return today and the overage of the cost of the repairs that the warranty company didn't cover but we've been without our jeep for the whole week which has been a bummer because you can drive on the beaches here we couldn't do that in a rental. One good thing about having a Jeep towed is that when something does happen to it, you can tow it right to the shop in the yeah, RV. We have our own tow truck. Yeah. The RV. So, <laughs> well, hello there. And welcome to the Pacific Northwest. I am excited because we are going to drive down the Oregon coast to a area called Cannon Beach and find what is known as Haystack Rock. Now, Haystack Rock rises over 200 feet into the air, and it's a pretty well-known, kind of iconic um, landmark, if you will, for Oregon beaches. So we're gonna go check that out, and we'll take you along, so make sure that you stay tuned, and we'll show you kind of what it's about, and uh, show you kind of what it's like visiting this whole area of the Pacific Northwest during um, COVID restrictions, which what we've found is that pretty much the whole state of Oregon and Washington are under mandatory mask requirements, which is fine. We've got our masks with us when you're inside of buildings or restaurants until you're seated. But other than that, oh, and there's a bag thing. So in Oregon, this is weird. When you go to the grocery store in Oregon, bring your own bags or else be prepared to pay five cents for every bag. And they don't have plastic, which is fine. Not really a big fan of plastic bags anyway. But another thing that's weird, actually about Oregon, is this whole recycling thing. So campgrounds don't have recycling and they have a five cent deposit basically. No, it's a 10 cent deposit. It's 10 cents for things like glass bottles, in aluminum so i bought a 12 pack of you know seltzer water it cost me an extra dollar 20 because it's 10 cents per can that you'll get back then if you return it back to one of the recycling whatever in the saga of doing things in the state of oregon this is the recycling line i don't know if i want to wait in that line right now so we're gonna go get fuel first mm -hmm. And the other funny thing about fuel in Oregon, you don't get to pump your gas. You have to wait for that too. I don't know how people live here, honestly.
beautiful day here at Haystack Rock, which is on Cannon Beach. And this is on the coast of Oregon. Now it's on the coast of like Northern Oregon. So where we're staying this week, we're actually staying in Washington State, just across the Columbia River from Oregon. But this is not far from our campground. It's about a 40 minute drive to get down here. The tide went out shortly after we got here which made for a really cool experience being able to see the tide pools that are right in front of Haystack Rock and uh, lots of different sea life that's in there. I got some footage on the GoPro of some sea anemones and there was a conservation group that came out when the tide went out to be able to put up some signage to educate people about the sea life that is in those tide pools so that people can enjoy it without harming it which I thought was really nice that they have that conservation group that kind of knows the tide cycles and to be able to protect all of the sea life that's in those tide pools. So beautiful day, sun is shining, bonus there, and uh, the kids are playing in the sand. Today is the 4th of July and it's not very busy here for the 4th of July. Of course, we're in the middle of the pandemic too, but people want to get out and about and they are. And it's such a large beach that there's room for everybody to be here and to be, you know, a good social distance from one another without, you know, compromising anybody's safety or anything like that. So, really great experience, really fun place to see. Haystack Rock, of course, is just very iconic Oregon coast. So, it's something you want to put on your list if you're ever going to come to Oregon. And then, one tip is we park just kind of off the street but there is a parking area uh, for this beach and there are public restrooms that were open. So probably wanna park closer to the restrooms than what we did. I kinda had to go searching for them, uh, but if you wanna come down here. And then also, just if you have kids, bring towels. I didn't do that, I just told the kids we don't have towels. I expected they'd stay out of the water, but no, it's just not how kids work. So anyway, if you decide to come down here and you have kids, just be prepared for wet children, all of those things that that entails. It is beautiful out here today. Just the expanse of beach here. It's just, I don't know, mind boggling to me. And it's that rock, oh my gosh. This is a huge rock. This isn't like a small rock. This is a really, really big rock. I did read online, it's over 200 feet high. And then of course it's home to a ton of different wildlife and you can see all the birds that are on it uh, behind me here. But this is just a beautiful place here on the Oregon coast. And then uh, of course Haystack Rock just being very iconic. It did say that when the tide is out that you can go up to Haystack Rock and that you can sometimes find you know, things like sea stars and things like that that are in the tide pools. But it looks like the tide is in mostly. I don't know. We'll see how close that we can get to. But yeah. gorgeous. And the sun, the way that the sun's hitting it, of course it's always cloudy here. At least it feels like it's always cloudy here. But uh, right now that the way the sun's hitting it, from the angle that the sun's hitting it, this is really cool looking. So. The sun is out and the sun has not been out for the majority of the time that we've been in this whole area. And from what we understand, that's pretty typical. And I cannot live that way. So I need some sunshine in my life. And so I'm very glad the sun is out today. And we happen to hit it at the right time. The water is just so clear right here in front of Haystack Rock. I don't know. I don't think that there's coral. Coral's usually found in the Southern Oceans, not the Pacific Ocean so much. That's where the Goonies held up their little deal. And this is a spot where they actually filmed the scene in the Goonies. Guys! I think I have a match! Look at this one. It's like shiny! Shiny! Like a treasure from a sunken pirate wreck. Mom, is this coral? I don't know, let me see. Do you want the shiny shell? The anemones under the water? Look, there's so many of them. You see them all? Just um, got off the phone with the repair shop where the Jeep is. And uh, they've now had it for exactly seven days and it's still not done. 
So what? we have to check out of the campground here. So we're gonna go park ourselves in the parking lot until it's finished. Hopefully maybe that gives them some motivation to keep this thing moving and getting it done. So I understand a heater core is a big job, but never in my life have I seen it take a week to get a heater core installed, especially when the part didn't have to be ordered. So anyway. Yeah, it's because the technician was sick. There was that. Their technician, of course, called in sick before the holiday weekend. So it was real. And it was fun. I don't know if it was real fun. <laughs> um, couple of things that we learn being here for the week. Number one, it's July and it's cold, yeah. which I wasn't prepared for. You know, I mean, you see all these RVers that even go up into Alaska and stuff in July and August, and it doesn't look like it's freezing. And I wouldn't say it's freezing, but it's cold enough that the first thing we had to do when we pulled into town is I had to go buy jeans because it was too cold for shorts. Yeah, jacket weather for us. And we're from Colorado, so I don't know if we hit like uh, just the right time to where it was always rainy and always cold, but um, some of the, our friends that we talked to said when they came, it was nice. So, yeah, but. I think the Pacific Northwest in general though, and the reason it's so green and lush is because it's really moist yeah. a lot. It's yeah. rained almost every day. I mean, there's definitely been cloud cover most every day. Yeah, not our cup of tea. No. We enjoyed it. You know, it was pretty. Something to see. It's something to do if you've but. never been and check it off your list. So we've got to put our stickers on the side still for right. Washington and for Oregon State. So we'll need to get those added to our map. But um, where we stayed here at the RV park by the bridge was super nice. Very reasonable compared to some of the other RV campgrounds in the area. The owners were super nice. Really nice. Yeah, super nice people. And um, the campgrounds maintained very nicely. I mean, we're on a Clean. nice gravel pad. It's not full of mud, which right. is important, especially in this area of the country where things are so wet all of the time. Things could get muddy if things yeah. aren't set up right. It's beautiful. The nature's beautiful. The coast is beautiful. It's a very different type of coast than um, other beaches yes. that we've been to. So it's just fun seeing the variety that's around the United States and available to see. And even, you know, the summer being a little bit different, a summer of closures, things like that. We still found plenty to do. It is time. We're going to go in town and retrieve our Jeep, <laughs> return our rental car and uh, get on the road and head out to the next destination in Washington state. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> um, 